Shepard, good work on freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Having friends pays off, sir. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. You don't seem too surprised. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Well, what about this Omega-4 relay? Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. What about these transactions? What are the collectors getting from these deals? The collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. The threat is real enough. The Collectors are definitely a human enemy. But how do we know there's a connection to the Reapers? Their focus shifted to humanity only after you and the human fleet destroyed Sovereign. The abductions are related, even if the Alliance and the Council refuse to believe it. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. Agreed. I hate waiting, but I'll need a team. A good one. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. I had a good team. What happened? Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. What about Ashley? Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Rex? Considering he's alive this time around? Yes! Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. That sounds honorable. We don't need to ask about Tally. Garrus? Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. He 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 he. Uh, I mean, where's Liara? Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Okay, I must point out that that whole thing with Liara's DLC, I will be trying to get the content so we can play through that because... We had a relationship in Mass Effect 1 with her, I don't need to explain any further. Never mind. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I am a Spectre. Still, I hope. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. We'll be ready. You worry about the Collectors, I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solis. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collectors' paralyzing Seeker Swarms. And the second thing? Sounds good. And what else? I've found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? 
I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. She's back, baby. Oh, and Joker, too. I'm kidding. Joker's awesome. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? Yes. I guess we'll have to give her a name. And of course it cuts away to this, but like I said, I don't care. It just tells you what you found. All the stuff. Yeah. There's that upgrade. 15%, which will come in handy. And that's all we need to know. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. Man. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Good point. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? Yeah. I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. <laughs> Joker won't like this. Almsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Glad to hear it. Now that we've established who's in charge, let's move on to these dossiers. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. You the man. Yep, our old ship has been recreated and upgraded in a massive way. There's actually a lot more rooms on the ship. There's an upgrade room. There's an armory where you can pick the weapons before you go on a mission. There it is right there. And we also have a computer to access email and stuff. Yeah. And we also have our own private room. Uh, kind of like the one back in Mass Effect 1. As it shows here. Of course, you can actually go in your own room and play music from Mass Effect 1. Uh, which is kind of cool. Just to let you know, hey, we didn't forget about that game. I mean, we let you import your character. And so on and so forth. But uh, before we do anything... Oh, by the way, that's kind of like... Um, I would like to say she's kind of like Mei Ling from Metal Gear Solid, but not really. She just tells you, you know, things you need to hear, like... Uh, so-and-so teammate wants to talk with you. Stuff like that. So, 
Uh, control, I think. Can you still get experience? Oh, just codex updates. All right. So that's a little different now. But we have to talk about Joker about this thing. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. <laughs> this ship is just a copy. That's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I died. Yeah, you are such a downer. <laughs> Joker's as good as ever. Uh, shutter control. Oh yeah. More cosmetic stuff that doesn't really matter except to the player playing the game. Working for the bad guys? See? Now you don't have to look at the outside. I don't know why, but I guess if you're a very sheltered person, the, uh, loves being shut in. No? Oh, that's good too. And There's not much to do in the armory, the tech lab, which isn't even open yet. As you can see off the distance, it's red. Uh, let's meet Yaman Chambers. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Pleasure is mine. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Sure. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? How's the crew? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Nope. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. Yeah, the... Welcome aboard, Commander. Thank you. The conversations are kind of robotic, but that's because she's just kind of an overcation thing. So, uh, don't need to check anything here, because we don't have any upgrades. Um, there's our DLC guy, which I do not like. I'll get him, show you guys him, but I won't be using him because he's weird. Um, you Zaid Masani? Ugh. Yeah, that's me. Lost contact. Ooh, there's the old Normandy, which we'll be checking out. Because I would like to see what happened. Uh, we got the assault armor, which I shown, I don't know how long ago, but when I first opened up the friggin' menu for armor. And uh, we got a arc projector weapon thingy, which I may not be using for other challenge-related reasons. Um... Gotta go check out Anderson, Zaid, blah, blah, blah. We already read all that. So, let, I mean, let's go ahead and check out the art projector thing real quick. I mean, is it like a heavy weapon or something? Oh my god. Ooh. Screw it. I'll use it for a while. Or the entire game. I don't know. Yeah, those weapons that we got supplied with on the first mission, yeah, they're worse. Um, we'll talk to Jacob and the others later. First, let's go to the Citadel. Commander, you've received a new message at your what? private terminal. Huh? Oh, already? What? No, he didn't. Ugh, woman. Also, the map zooms in a lot quicker. And this is the new menu. Omega, which we will find three freaking people. Okay. Uh, there's the Omega 4 relay, which we will not be taking yet. Um, oh, the Normandy crash site is over there. Alright. We want to go... Is it still over here somewhere? No, it's right there. Okay, we're on the other, uh, we're on the other side of the map from Mass Effect 1. You know... In Mass Effect 1, this would be... Eh, I don't need to explain it. Whatever. 
Let's check out the Citadel real quick. Also, these screens are a lot faster, as you see right there. Oh, and uh, we're out of fuel, apparently. But we got a lot of credits because I played the other game. Uh... Citadel looks a little different this time around. A little darker. 